Now, not only was Sojourner Truth an abolitionist, she was also a really strong activist for both women's rights and civil rights. And so she was speaking out against these societal norms. And you have to remember, at this time, no one wanted to hear from a woman Period. Never mind a black woman who was supposed to be a slave. Now, notice my huge quotation marks there because you know that's not how I feel. However, that was the feeling at the time that women did not, you don't hear from women. You deserve to be seen, not heard. And yet there was this woman, a black woman, a powerful black woman who was standing up for what she believed in and letting people know what she thought. So for women's rights, she gave a ton of powerful speeches. Now that's going to be a really big reoccurring theme for her. She gave many, many speeches. And so she de she decided that she was going to fight th for the rights of all women. It was a popular notion at the time that white women deserved to have more rights, not the same as men, but more rights, but black women did not. And so Journal Truth was like, hang on, wait a second. I'm still a woman regardless of the color of my skin and I deserve the same rights as anyone else. And so she fought for equal rights across races and across genders. She worked along some she worked alongside some really amazing women's advocates as well, like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, whom you hopefully have heard heard of. Um, but they also fought for the same kinds of things that um, Sojourner Truth fought for. And you can see them here in this picture. So on the left you have Elizabeth Cady Stanton, in the middle you have Sojourner Truth, and on the right you have Susan B. Anthony. Now, not only did she fight for women's rights, she also fought for civil rights, right? She wanted equal opportunities for people who were white and who were black, any skin color. And so she would give free lectures, as you can see the newspaper clipping for, okay? So she would go up there and she'd give free lectures for anyone to come and hear. Through her speeches, she was fighting for equal rights for all. And as the country is ramping up towards civil war again happening or starting in 1861, she's fighting really hard for these civil rights and it does not go unnoticed especially by President Abraham Lincoln at the time. He sees her work and he's very impressed by it and he actually ends up spending a little bit of time with her and you'll see a picture of that later on. So you have to think how powerful she must be to be heard by even the president and how much her word is getting out and getting across and how influential she was at the time. All right, next topic.